Okay, guys, I'm uh, here on some five gourds. Sorry about that bad editing cut, but uh, I had to somehow fuse these clips together. I, I decided to play on normal TF2 because you can you can actually use the fan com combined with one of your your standard weapons to do a lot more damage. Ah, fuck, okay. So anyway, yeah, the, uh, the fan does, uh, it puts a skull on someone's head, and uh, you crit, yeah, I mean mini crit, when you hit them then. So that's pretty much all you can talk about there. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna skip ahead. Okay, here we are. Yeah, I don't like it because you have to get, you have to, you're forced to get in even more close and personal than you know, normally are with the scout. The scout is already at risk because he has to be so close to do damage, and he has so little HP. Um, uh, I think adding this extra extra risk for playstyle is just, it's, I don't know, I don't like it. I, I don't like the extra risk you have to take. Oh, co oh come on, man. Those sentries are really fucking overpowered. I'm gonna find a health pack. I think we have going down here. Sorry, soldier. Oh, sorry. Well, oh, whatever. Oh god, they got a real sentry. That's why I died so quickly last time. Anyway, that's enough of the f the, the fan guys. I'm gonna go for the next class now, which is the. Pyro. Uh, I don't think I have anything for the pyro though. Let me quickly check. No. So we're gonna have to skip the pyro as well. Uh, I haven't got any for the any for the pyro, which leaves the soldier, uh, which uh, leaves with the cow mangler and the reserve shooter. Uh, and this weapon deals crits when, uh, while the wheeler is rocket jumping, and uh, this one. With buffs, some damage dished out by nearby teammates comes back as healing. Which I I don't I don't know, guys. I don't see really see the point. But anyway, I'm gonna go for this loadout now. Oh, I'm gonna switch. Okay, let's consider if the cow mangler stats. It has a cra I crafted it. Uh, it does not require ammo. As an alternate fire, which I'm gonna show you right now. And it fires like that, and it burns shit up. Uh, and it also disables sentries in, in other buildings. Yeah, but it has minus 10% 10, 10 damage penalty, no random critical hits, 5% slower reload time, and deals only 20% damage to buildings. But it doesn't need ammo, so I think it's pretty pretty much uh, pointless. Because the damage penalty it has it, even 5% for the soldier is a lot. It has that. That reload time, the minus 20% uh, against buildings, I think. Well, minus 10, no. Oh, actually, actually minus 10%, uh, and it does 20% uh, less against buildings. And the reserve shooter is another weapon. Uh, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's 15% faster weapon switch, mini crits, uh, airborne targets for 3 seconds after being deployed, which I don't see how you can get them airborne for that long to shoot them, and when that would be useful, And it has, but it has minus 15% uh, 50 clip size. <coughs> which really sucks. Okay guys, we're back in the action. I did not, I did not get an assist for that. Oh god. Oh <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Gonna click the equalizer as long as I'm doing this and uh Okay, here we go. Back in the fray. Sure let me show you guys the alternate fire in action. Oh, I didn't hit him. I think then you have to reload a lot. 
So you have to fire this from a safe position, pretty much. This is gonna help because it. No, oh, never mind, it's dead. I, think it's just, I don't know, I think it's a piece of crap compared to the, the, either, the, either the black box or the other one. Or even the direct hit, direct, even the direct hit is a lot better. A lot better. Oh my, my bro got up the turret. I hope I can save all the buildings there. I say it's literally, literally reload every time. Okay. Can't really hit anything with it. I mean, it's just so hard to hit things, hit people with it. Oh god. Oh god, no! They came up from behind. Okay, seems like I misunderstood the... The Conjurer. The con The Conjurer. Uh, it, it's actually a... Actually a, a... A buff, like the... Like the buff banner, or the... Other one. It only gives you a defense buff. And, uh... I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna have it equipped, and it dishes... Oh, whoa. Damn. Oh, uh, actually, you don't have to reload every time. Sorry about that. I misunderstood that. Because I just kept doing the animation. With the, like the spy revolver. Nice. So I'm gonna extinguish your kill because of me. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. It's like a shell, nice. It's a shell. Oh my god, I have two health. Yeah, it didn't really do I mean, the, the Contra is a lot better than I thought it would be, but because I misunderstood it the last time. What the fuck just happened there? Okay. What the hell? <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back with a reserve shooter this time. Uh, it's probably gonna be my last, one of my last lives as a soldier. Doing these weapons. And that will be the end of this series. I thank you guys for watching very much. Um, at least the series for now, until I get some more new weapons. Uh, enough new weapons to do a 30 minute episode. Uh, whoa. My, I mean, I think the, the, both the reserve shooter and uh, the Contra are, are shit. I, 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 I'd rather use, I'd rather use the rocket launcher or the black box, the direct hit, or even the the normal shotgun. And uh, the fucking what, what do you call it? The buff banner. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, these, these, a lot of these new weapons, they looked really cool, but they were a pretty big letdown. Again, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys another time. Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is TF2 Weapons Testing, Episode 2, and I will be continuing with the Demo Man, since I left off with the Heavy in the last episode. And as another disclaimer, this is uh, about half an hour. I'm, I'm planning for it to be, be half an hour, but of raw, un edited footage of me playing Team Fortress 2. 
and uh, with various weapons. So I just want to get with my commentary. That's also unedited. So I just wanted to make it, get it. Like if you don't like the raw, uh, the raw commentary that has a little less quality or a lot less, depending on what your viewpoint is. Um, then you should probably stop watching this video. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Let's get started into the gameplay. I'm D group keep here. And uh, I'm going to go talk about the weapons I'm going to be playing with, which are number one, the Alibaba Wii's booties, which I'm going to be constantly equipping for medieval mode. And I got the vin vintage Islander for, for uh, just now. I'm going to go ahead and equip the Persian Persuader. I'm going to go over the stats real quick. The uh, Alibaba Wii's booties have um, pl plus 25% max health and plus 100% increase in turning control while charging. Persian Persuader has a plus 20%. Uh, plus 100% increase in charge rate, uh, in, in increase in charge, uh, charge recharge rate, and all ammo collected, including scrap and the scrap metal and stuff like that, is all becomes health, and uh, has no random critical left. So this is an extremely useful weapon, but yet you can't collect heads, which is really awesome in the other one, uh, for the other one, which is the Islander. Pretty awesome. And uh, this this one doesn't have it, so that's pretty that's pretty sad. Um, I decided to do demo because all these all these weapons are melee weapons for the demo. Look at this shit, that spy. This guy's gonna yeah. Okay, they catch B, so we're now gonna have a horde of blue attacking us. So it's good to attack it from behind. So no, um, oh, never mind. So I, I like the Islander more. I can tell you right away. I like the Islander more because this is a lot better range. It's a thing where you can collect heads. It's very, very useful overall. And that's basically where I stand on that. So it's like with the charge and charge. With the charge. Not too bad in melee. It's never really was very good if the charge and targe. What the fuck is this? The recharge rate is awesome, but uh, the Islander, I don't know. I just, there's no comparison. Oh, there's a spy. Okay, they're, they're uh, going for B. You gotta stop. Jesus Christ. It's crazy. Uh, that was a worth a try, I guess. Mm, what the fuck? What the hell did he say? Something about a spy. Jesus, this is just come on. Come on, come on. This is like a uh, fat look I got a pretty nice kill feed up there. Okay, I'm gonna, next time I respawn I'm gonna mute Fiesta Pie. Damn. Oh god. Go on ape. Go on ape. Damn it. I, I think often I time it too early. And often I time it too late. But I never get it just right. God damn Fiesta Pie. Shut the fuck up. Uh, 
Uh, we go ahead and mute this asshole. Fiesta Pie has been officially muted. Another spy around here somewhere. See, that was too early, and then I do it otherwise, it's too late. Come on, guys, get on the point! What the fuck? Are you guys serious? Oh, come on! That's just stupid, man. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna move on to the next weapon, which is the Ula Pool. Uh, Cabra. I don't know how to pronounce this thing. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab. This grenade, when you hit something, with, uh, something like that, it goes up. It goes up. You go up, and, and the the thing explodes. You can't replenish it unless you, uh... So, I'll give you a little... Basically, it's pretty much an ins uh, a guaranteed kill. Uh, oh, I've got some lag. And, uh... Therefore... Uh, therefore... You can only use it once and then it becomes a normal melee weapon, which is kind of... Kind of sucks, but it can be really awesome for killing... Try to not use it until all very. If I use it now, I'll, I'll die. Ah, I didn't even kill him. <laughs> okay. It's probably useful for capping the point, because you can get, uh. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that guy alone. Got a nice, some nice damage there. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I probably got some new HP. Use, use this one more time. It's kind of a fun thing to use, but it's nothing really, nothing more. So that's, that's what it's good for. If you can get something like that going, kill a bunch of people. Ah! Get out of here. Die. Oh, someone got me. And actually, I'm gonna keep using this. It's pretty. It's pretty useful for like blowing a bunch of people up in the po on the point. Um, charging and getting a a trade in Thomas Love from for metal. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it, it is uh, very lethal to both the wear, uh, both the carrier and the person that uh, gets hit by it. Stab! 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 Ah! Does not get me? Oh! Oh, it's Dead Ringer. Where'd he go? Oh! That stole my kill. Uh, uh, uh! Nice. Sweetness. Okay. So that's uh, those are Alibaba Wee's booties. Uh, I think it'll play. I'll play a little more with uh, the Islander in this. I played enough of the, the Persian Persuader. Is that a crit or not? Damn it! Bitch. Okay, we're up here again. Uh, 
<laughs> Those heads fly off and it just is amazingly grotesque. How they die. Oh, that was a crit there. I heard that. I heard that. Damn it! He had that, uh, the grenade that I was using earlier. Ah. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Damn, snipers. Okay then. Oh shit. Oh, this guy's the. F this guy's the. Um, skull over his head, which means he's been hit by the fan. I got some lag, it's too bad. Sweet. Oh man, look at look at this. Fr this is this fucking domination we're doing. Let's get some domination going on on this map. Oh, my, my Matt has six heads. He says. I have four. Oh. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Ah, oh, he fell down. You're the devil. <laughs> You're the devil. Damn it, now I'm on fire. And I've got mad milk on me. Oh god, oh god man. Damn it! Ah! Uh, man, I gotta stay away from, from combat now. I don't want to lose my foreheads. Oh shit. Doctor! The control point is being contested. Doctor! Yeah, oh, I got some HP, nice. Oh shit. Alright, our control point is being captured. Alright, the control point is being contested. I'm trying to sandman me? Really, boy? Six heads, baby. It's the go of six heads. I'm oh, sorry about the lag, but nothing I can do about it. God, I'm in a rampage, man. I got eight heads. Stab, stab, stab. Jeez. Look at this lag, man. Oh, I'm dominating. Nice. Oh, God. I'm not losing my eight heads. I'm not losing them. I just need to end in 18 seconds anyway, so let's might as well. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why do I have 200 ping? Get you get out of here, bitch. You get out of here. Yeah, man. Nine heads. Nine heads. This is my record, guys. This is my record on cameras. Uh, Matt said he had seven heads. Eight heads. He has eight, so we're nine heads and eight heads. We just fucking pwned. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go right to the next class, which is the scout. Uh, I'm about to lose my heads. Uh, since my. I might as well. I'm gonna go for the fan of war. Um. And I'm gonna go for the mad milk, because there's nothing, nothing really that I, else that I can. Might as well equip the soda popper. Uh, the fuck? 
Whoa! That was weird for the lag. Basically, what this one does, it has a lot less damage. Uh, whoops. Uh, it has minus 90% damage, but on hit, it marks people at, with like a skull that uh, lets any hit against them by other by me and other team players be uh, a, a mini crit. So they're basically they're gonna own that heavy, basically. Yeah, that, I was I still wasn't able to kill him because his mine is. 90% damage, so basically if I, even if I hit him normally, e when he has a skull on him, it's still... Oh, so there we go. That's pretty much all there is for that. I mean, see so you have like a, I kept mini critting him there. It's, it's a nice weapon, like you can go in and hit everyone with it and run out, but it doesn't, I've tried it, it doesn't really work for me. Uh, I think it's... It's pretty much useless. This is like the Boston Basher, but um, in uh, the Witcher form. We'll play a little bit more of this and then do something else. Oh, what the f- Oh, come on! <laughs> 